watching Wish TV, your local news source. Now, News 8 at 5 continues. And right now at 5.30, pressure's mounting for the U.S. to ban TikTok over concerns the Chinese government could access private data from users. An FCC commissioner says he has little confidence that a national security agreement can be reached after months of negotiations. Mike Valerio reports. Lucy Pro, TikTok is more than a social media app. She calls it her side hustle, a source of income. As a user, a TikTok user myself, I would just think that, you know, it would be a little, a little bummed out just for the fact because it would be taking away one of my tools that I use to promote my online business that I use on a daily basis. Yet a growing number of U.S. lawmakers worry about the company's handling of sensitive user data. After months of negotiations to resolve concerns that Chinese government authorities could seek to gain access to the data TikTok holds on U.S. citizens, one of the five commissioners of the FCC, Brendan Carr, says the U.S. government should ban the video sharing app rather than come to an agreement. This cybersecurity expert says private data for TikTok users is as compromised as it is with other social media platforms. We don't see any particular evidence that TikTok is necessarily any more harmful or, or dangerous, let's say, from our data perspective than any other social media. Commissioner Carr admits the capacity of the FCC is limited to ban TikTok. It's the Commerce Department or the Federal Trade Commission that have the handle on regulations. With the millions of users in the middle of this, the advice is a proactive approach when it comes to protecting private information. We have to exercise caution because ultimately their service can be hacked. It doesn't matter whether they're based in the United States or in China or, or in Germany, right? I'm Mike Valerio reporting.